to, first of all, thank you for purchasing the uh, the algorithm or the uh, inner circle package, which includes the algo. And I'll briefly uh, do a quick tutorial on how to set it up and how to use it. Um, there's going to be more in-depth in uh, videos to follow. Uh, and uh, obviously, we can do a quick call one-on-one for you to, uh, if you have any questions, and uh, for me to help you uh, set it up correctly. So first of all, you're going to go to um, add um, indicators and strategies. You're going to go to invite only, and you're going to uh, select Apex Bull 2MD. I'm going to select Apex Hedge Fund Swing Indicator and uh, Apex Bull Algorithmic Indicator. Once you have them on your uh, chart, let me turn off everything else. As you can see here, we have uh, a whole bunch of um, stuff here. So um, there's two, two things to uh, notice. First of all, 2MD strategy and 2MD uh, indicator it's the same thing one is the strategy which will give you buy sell signals and you can back test it and the, uh, the 2md is just a simple um, indicator buy and sell without the uh, back tester so you can turn one of them off and just use the strategy uh, strategy one because for example if you find a working strategy you can see right away on the back test here strategy tester how it performs for example this is a one hour uh, bitcoin let me turn off the apex trend too so this is a one hour um, strategy tester for um, for uh, bitcoin and as you can see uh, profit factor two to one it's only uh, correct 50% of the time, but because we win twice as much as we risk, you essentially uh, double the account within a year. So uh, let's say you can um, have a starting capital of 100,000 and you trade or order size only one Bitcoin contract, for example, right? As you can see, you double your money, 100% net profit, uh, within a year or so um, when this strategy started trading. Let's see. You can check that also in all these settings, but we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. So um, the interesting part, not an interesting, but uh, so th these, uh, the inputs of uh, the strategy, it basically tells you what the type of entries you want. So in line with the stop loss, so basically, um, it will never give you an opposite a signal if uh, the stop loss that you said here in the stop loss section uh, here, um, stop loss section, uh, it will never issue a, an opposite signal until the stop loss hits. So you stay in the trade or or you can remove it if you want to, if the opposite signal ensures, you can close uh, your uh, uh, position. So again, you can play around. So aggressive entries, that's more aggressive, conservative and um, early conservative are more uh, uh, um, safe type of entries. So this one might be a little bit later, but it's, uh, um, this one will be the conservative entry will be entering when there is more confirmation that the trend is going the way it's going an aggressive entry is going to uh, enter uh, a little earlier uh, but the probability of it working out drops so again uh, when you play around you can see on a back tester do aggressive work obviously they do look at this pnl how it drastically changes uh, the situation so, for example, uh, do you want to maybe just do um, conservative only, etc.? You and you have to play around. Basically, find uh, the the optimal settings for uh, for achieving the maximum result. 
So um, that's just a brief uh, introduction. There is an, a, a detailed video specifically for um, uh, for uh, uh, using the uh, strategy optimizer and how to find out all these settings. I know it's a little daunting, but uh, once you find basically the main ones are the uh, stop loss period, the stop loss ATR. It just measures the volatility of the market on the time frame that you trade. And then you find the optimal uh, level of stop loss meaning so you don't get so it's not too far but not so close that you get stopped out all the time and you can test it by setting this value to one and you can see what happens with the with the uh, with the strategy two a little better three even better four better five etc etc six and you can see that five is the sweet spot and then um you can play around with one, two, etc. So it seems like 5.2 is a very good number uh, on the back test to, to achieve. Uh, so five ATR multiple, meaning it's five. Uh, if the given instrument moves on the, well, this is an hourly chart or whatever chart frame, uh, time frame you use, you need to set it five times as large. That way, uh, a little bit because the price moves in a uh, in a wave pattern. Basically, let's say this is the price of Bitcoin. There's always pullbacks, always pullbacks. You don't want to be stopped out because there is this pullback. Let's say you're long here. Uh, you want your stop loss to be far enough so you don't get stopped out from these by these um, uh, sideways uh, consolidation and pullbacks. So that's what the stop loss does. And you can set it uh, risk to reward basically is a very easy measure. Say uh, you want to, if you risk uh, X amount, you can have it either, uh, you can, you want to make it one to one, for example, or you want to make it uh, greater than one to one. You can, for example, say uh, for every dollar risk, I want to only make 50 cents. Let's see how it goes. Not so good. What about $1 to $1? A little better, right? But you can see if you set it to 1.5, it's even uh, greater uh, than that, and so on and so forth. So you can play around with these all the risk to reward ratio based on the stop. Basically, whatever the stop is, you have to make at least minimum of one to one or whatever value you, you set. So uh, after you find, oops, after you find the the value that you like. Uh, you just save it as a template here. Where's this? Unfortunately. So for example, um, BTC one hour high uh, one to one. All right, so that's basic entries and uh, basic settings, I mean, for this strategy. Now, as you can see, you have a lot of uh, entries. It, it doesn't mean that you have to take every single one of them. For example, this and this, they're very close together. So if you have entered one here, just wait for that one to play out before you uh, enter another one. It's uh, more of a suggestion. And that's what the uh, trading strategy does, by the way. Um, first of all, you can create an alert. You can create an alert condition, apex bull, uh, yes, Apex 2 strategy, you can uh, select it here, condition, uh, and and it will send you the, uh, every time it gives you a buy or sell signal, it will send you a notification here um, in the, um, in, onto your phone, your email, whatever you choose. And uh, uh, the strategy one only trades one trade at a time. It doesn't pile on, so it doesn't take all of these trades all together. Even though mo all of them are winners, uh, it doesn't. You don't need to do that. Just one one trade at a time. So, for example, you were sleeping. You missed this one. So you can maybe enter maybe enter it here. That's why there is a follow up. Uh, so some people can enter it here. Some people can enter it there. Now. Uh, 
indicators have to be found. The strategies have to be adjusted for time frames and uh, instruments. Different instruments and time frames will have different settings. Uh, if uh, in b before I started all this, actually, the main one was just uh, giving you the entries. So this is the older version. Uh, the I'm looking on the wrong. I forgot. Oops, one second. Let me add this one. So the hedge fund swing indicator. This one just gives you the entries on a 44 hour time frame. This is uh, a very good swing indicator. Now, uh, as you can see, it gives you I and A's. I is the initial position. A's are the additions. The more additions you have, uh, the less likely the, tra the, tr the trend will change. So for example, sometimes you get uh, conditions like this. Obviously, you don't add here, here, and like I said, you have to use your judgment. And not, of them all, uh, not all of them are winners. Some will be losers, obviously, that comes with this territory. So for example, this is the initial sell. It tells you initially to sell here. It, uh, the, uh, the trend has changed, and you can sell here. Maybe you add here, maybe you add here, but you can see that at the end of the, tra uh, of the trend, it still tells you to, um, uh, it doesn't, nobody knows when the trend will end. So it will be keep giving you the, tr uh, the trades, additional trades in the direction of the, um, of the uh, trend. So uh, the, the more obviously the, uh, the, uh, the later stage of the trend is, then you have to take, uh, you have to, probably not be as aggressive as you can be in the initial stages of your trading. So just keep that in mind that the trend is becoming a little uh, too long in the tooth and you have to pull back your position size because um, the longer the trend lasts, the uh, higher risk there will be a violent uh, pullback uh, or a correction or a trend change occurring. So just keep that in mind. And uh, so, for example, as you can see here, um, the last signal told you to sell here. Maybe you took profit, maybe you don't, or maybe this is probably would have been a break even. And then the trend changes and it gives you an initial signal uh, uh, here and then additional follows up, blah, blah, blah. And on and on it goes. But this uh, Apex Trend Hedge Fund Swing indicator is mostly designed for four hour and it um, doesn't have uh, stop losses or entries. For that, you have the course. Uh, you have to realize if you buy here, your stop loss should be here or, uh, or, or here. So previous swing or two swings below, etc. whatever method you use. Um, so, and the profit target, you target something one to one or uh, whatever um, or whatever you like um, you know, one to two or or whatever like I said wh whatever you prefer uh, to do but this is more on of um, um, to be used in conjunction with your trading once you actually understand what is happening with the market and uh, it's uh, a little bit of uh, just giving you the entries on a swing. And this is, this is, this is, uh, I, I like this one actually better than the automated one uh, because uh, I use it as a guide. Um, I basically, com it confirms my biases and my, uh, if I, I want to go long and the indicator tells me to go long, probably it's a good idea to go long. So that's the, uh, again, this is a trend tracking indicator. So at the end of the trend, uh, you, you, you have to be more vigilant and uh, keep uh, trailing your stops and be, uh, don't give it too much room as much as you would give in the beginning of uh, the uh, trend. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the, um, uh, Apex boom, uh, Apex trend uh, 
uh, hedge fund one. Again, sometimes as you can see at the end, uh, it gets messy. So um, in this case, if you get stepped out, that's why you, so when, when you lose, you should be losing a little. But when it runs, it really runs. And so basically, yes, you lost, let's say some, you entered here and the stop loss was here and you got stepped out, okay. But then look at this move here. And uh, you made up three to four to one, five to one of what you lost. So uh, losses do occur. There is no indicator, no, no trader that gets 100% right all the time. So uh, if you have a problem with perfectionism, this is not a profession for you. Um, all right, so this is the Apex trend for swings. <sighs> Apex strategy. And let me actually, uh, I hit it below certain time frames. So you can use the Apex strategy as well. You can remove the take profit levels and uh, trailing stops and just see if you like the entries uh, themselves. So you can see that, uh, uh, well, th this is one that says it exited, took profit, took profit. Uh, so long entered here, took profit here, long entered here, took profit here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, you can use the uh, strategy or you can use the Apex 2MD, which will give you the same um, indications. You can see, you can just give you clear buy signals with the, um, again, this, uh, the APAC, both indicators and strategy, it comes with the default settings built for four hour time frame. If you want to change the time frame, um, you will have to play around with the strategy and I can help you with that. Second of all, if you want to, um, uh, every, uh, every, it, it's, uh, it's basically, a middle ground type of setting because I don't know what you trade. Uh, what works for Bitcoin might not be working for uh, S&P 500 or Euro dollar and vice versa. So I kind of put the settings in the middle. So uh, the take profit and the stop losses that you see here. And again, what are the, um, the, the way, let me actually make it a little brighter. So you can see, and I'll make it bigger for uh, the sake of, so, just for now. All right, so as you can see, it for example, it tells you to go along here. This is the stop loss. This is the take profit level. Once you enter the you trade, after this bar closes, you enter on this bar open, and this is your stop loss. This is your level of take profit. So as you can see, when the price reaches this level, that you would have been taking profit on this candle right here, this candle right here. And then you wait for another signal. And then uh, as you can see, again, you buy uh, on this candle, this is the profit level, this is the uh, stop loss. Does it mean you have to wait uh, for it to happen or you can uh, close it sooner? It's, uh, it's up to you, use your own discretion. If you see, this is an algorithm. Sometimes some kind of news come out, you can manually override this and close the position because if, uh, for example, a World War III started, the algorithm is not gonna know that it started and the market just go um, to hell in a handbasket, right? So use your brain and uh, your judgment to uh, understand when to follow rules and when to um, adhere to them and want to actually pull out of the positions that uh, based on the new information that you have uh, received. So um, I hope, again, you can set the uh, alerts for all of these. If you want to, if you like the, um, the uh, Apex Trend Hedge Fund, for example, only you can set the alert for Apex trend, uh, set it for once uh, per bar close and open-ended blah, blah, blah. So it, every time there is, and you can write a message, an Apex trend signal was triggered, blah, 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 blah. 
You can even use webhook to send alerts to your Telegram if you want to. Or send an email pop-up notifying the app on your phone. So it uh, gives you entries, uh, like I said, to uh, reiterate, this gives you entries and without uh, profit levels and uh, or end stop losses. Just, this is just uh, more of a guidance for swing. And the Apex 2MD is the uh, full blown one, so to speak, with the stop losses and uh, take profit levels and multiple uh, various kinds of entries, which you can uh, play around with. Uh, if if you don't want to backtest, you can just eyeball it and uh, just turn off most of them, for example, and uh, see which ones you like. Uh, which appeal uh, you can you can see the okay the, those are the ones that I prefer most. Also, a little feature here is set main trend filter. You can play with these features. For example, if you trade in a four hour, and you only want to trade in the direction of a uh, daily, that's what you do. So you, um, you it will never give you a short signal if the long if if it's still long direction in the um, uh, uh, the trend is up on the daily. So on your four hour time frame, it will always should give you uh, long only until the uh, the trend major trend changes on the on the daily. So for example, when Bitcoin is going up, 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 there's going to be times where it pulls back. So if you don't care about the pullback, you don't want to trade the pullback, you can set this as to only uh, tell you when this trend resumes itself, for example, and that's when you start buying again. So uh, instead of trading short and long, for example, if you want, the option is there. So hope this helps. Like I said, I'm available. Ask me questions and uh, I'll send you different uh, video. There, there was a webinar on how to use the strategy tester and uh, you can play around with it in more detail and set it up specifically for your instrument that you trade. Furthermore, uh, if you have a specific list of instruments and time frames that you trade, I can give you specific settings uh, that you need to input um, that will result, uh, will, which will give you best results for those specific time frames. And uh, so you don't have to do testing yourself. I can do it for you. Uh, for a lot of these things, I already have those settings done. Like I said, for example, B uh, Bitcoin one hour or four hour, etc. All right, hope it helps. Enjoy.